Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video uh, we are going to have a look at the experiences in terms of career and relationship that your star sign is going to have throughout the upcoming week, uh, August 10th to uh, August 16th, 2020. <clears throat> and you are into Tarot, probably you do know that Tarot is divided by a major and minor arcana and arcana means knowledge, so anybody can learn um, to, to read Tarot. And uh, if you like the way I read and you want to learn it from me, uh, you can purchase the 12 hours tarot class uh, that uh, I'm offering. And in this class, uh, you are going to be introduced to a four card, very special to me spread because I do use it uh, in almost all of my professional uh, readings because it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's also a uh, major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use just only the uh, the major arcanas with it. Uh, so that spread, uh, that what comes with it, it is the explanation of all the major arcana in terms of all of the positions of the spread and in terms of career and relationship. So pretty much you do have it uh, all covered there. And on top of that, at the end of the class, uh, you are gonna get as well a one hour one-on-one -on -one class with me just so I can make sure that uh, you uh, digested all of the information and you are set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings. The links to the, the <clears throat> I'm sorry, the link to the class is uh, listed down below as well as a link to my website in case you do want to uh, purchase a, a personal uh, reading with me. So that being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so we do have a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising uh, on our hands here for the upcoming week. And let's see what you are to experience first and foremost, guys, in terms of your love and uh, love and relationship. So let me cut. And uh, the first card that we do have for you, that is to be Judgment. Uh, moving next, uh, we do have the Queen of uh, Wands, uh, followed by the Seven of Wands, and the last one uh, here, that is to be the Page of Wands. Wow, that is going to be quite of a week for you. Uh, we do have a fire, 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 fire. It's just it's going to be a, a conflagration. Uh, in terms of your passion and in terms of as well your uh, your enthusiasm, if you uh, if you will. Now the Queen of Wands into the second position of the spread. Though that is uh, the card that made most impression to me, and that card could speak for either two two things. It could either speak for a very very jealous person that it is around you and that pretty much wants what you have. That is especially true if you are in a relationship right now and your relationship is going on a very well. Or uh, it could be also a, a false impression. You have a false impression that you are doing the right thing according to your person of interest and according to your um, you, you know, beloved one that you may be with right now. So the Queen of Wands there plays a role like you think you know the nature of that person, but you don't. And that doesn't have to be necessarily your fault, okay? The person may be just very protective and very secretive, never tell you everything that, they, that it is going on with them. And you are trying to guess and you think you are guessing it right, but you are not. And uh, for that reason, uh, this week, however, will um, force you, if you will, to adopt a little bit more defensive approach throughout the, throughout the th th toward, oh my God, toward the affairs into your love uh, and relationship life. Now, instead of being impulsive here, uh, you are to adopt the stance to wait for the right moment and the right place when you are to exert an, an action. Now, in either of the case, what, whichever the Queen of Wands represents, you would not want to give that competitor or these um, feelings of doubt, if you will, any chance whatsoever uh, to ruin your experience that you are uh, in other way going to have and that is going to be an awesome experience with uh, the person of interest or with your beloved one uh, or, with your, or, or with your beloved one as well. Uh, 
in our gaming world, because I'm a gamer, we say that we have to minimize the RNG as much as we can. RNG stands for random generated numbers. Now, in any case here, uh, how the week ends for you, I, at the end, it is that you are to realize that you are having much more stronger standing than you think you are at the beginning of the week as well, that much more thing de things depends on you and that you are being listened more than you think that you are listened, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that whatever you are saying is to be obliged with, but you are heard for whatever uh, demands and uh, as well, you know, whatever stat statements you do have in terms of your career, uh, not your career, I'm sorry, but in terms of, uh, in terms of your relationship. Now, this week itself in terms of relationship is going to be a huge wake up call. And that is either of those two that you are to realize that you do have a competitor, that, that, that in this particular case right now, the thing have not been um, developed enough to become a fair, but if you do neglect the problem, it may, okay? Or also a wake-up call that there are things that you have to fix with your behavior for the reason being is that you are presuming wrong with the expectations and as well the wishes with, uh, with your beloved one. Uh, and from there, uh, the experience is going to be I assume all, only the right experience that you're gonna have moving forward in terms of your relationship. Now, those that are single are uh, highly likely to uh, meet someone of interest uh, throughout the week, but that person of interest as well is gonna have many others that are finding them as a person of interest. So if you are not ready to jump into the competition and to have some emotional and as well passionate turmoil, it is best to pass the uh, the opportunity through. And um, regardless what you are to uh, what you are to choose here, uh, are you going to pass on this opportunity or should you take it and compete? for that person, you are to realize at the end that you are much stronger than you thought you are, either dealing with competition or either being on your own. Um, so that being said, that was your uh, relationship reading. And now let's uh, have a look what your career has to say. Or what the energies for your career has to say. Oh my God, just give me a second. Uh, so the first one is going to be the Queen of Swords. That is a, a very strong start in terms of career, followed by the Two of Swords. Now, I don't even have to draw the rest of the cards. Uh, it's time for you to jump into action. This week, just by those two cards that we do have, is going gonna, is gonna to give you everything you need to uh, pretty much push your project uh, and your agenda in terms of career tr through. All right? It's just you will be able to manifest throughout the week. Uh, moving next, uh, we do have the Knight of Swords and the last one here, that is to be the Knight of Cups. So, um, career-wise, like I said, quite an important week that's uh, waiting and kind of like postponing things is out of the question. Now, regardless of how difficult the uh, undertaking looks like, once again, you do have the means, the strength and the information that is up of most importance here that you are gonna have the necessary information to know what you gotta do, how to do it and when to do it in order to push that thing through and eventually at the end have it the way you are expecting it to have it, okay? But the thing, the whole procedure here, looking at those cards will uh, involve you uh, making some um, ethical decisions and these are going to be ethical, all right? Those decisions will, refer, will reflect upon your inner emotional state. Now, while the, the decision is going to be um, completely professionally, prof 
professionally, I'm sorry, oriented, there is more than one way how you can do something, okay? And here you have the luxury to make the decision so that your logic aligns as well with your emotions. So in other words, to get the project through the way you feel is best for you and for your coworkers, for your colleagues, uh, for your boss and supervisor, and etc. etc. And at the end, everybody is go are going to be happy. But the best about the week in terms of a career, it is that there are no RNG as well here also. So it's kind of like the, the, the energies in terms of career and relationship, they are pretty much uh, pretty much mixed. And uh, at the end, the, your results are going to be a manifestation of your performance and as well of your dedication. The better performance, the, the bigger toils, all right, and uh, the, uh, the stronger dedication, the best results that you are to uh, get. That is because the Knights of Cups never relies on chance. Knights of Cups believes that results should be re reciprocal to one's actions, okay? Uh, and that's why Knights of Cups never uh, gives up on his dreams because he believes that uh, if one do, if one does what it's necessary to chase their dreams, their dreams eventually are going to manifest. And that is your case here, with the exception of it, if it is, we had only just the Knights of Cups, that it is not certain that the Knight has the means nor the information how to achieve it. You do. Okay, you just do with uh, with the previous cards, and if you think that you need more, well, then you are going to miss any a flawless startup signal that you can uh, make use of and get not just only one step, but a, a mile ahead of your competitors and of the people that are trying to you know to knock you off place. Should there be a uh, such individuals, uh, one last thing I want to say here: um, once you start performing there won't be uh, any chance for you to back yourself away from it. So again, determination and dedication, it is up of most importance as personal qualities and then as means information, it is the best virtue. Those that are uh, a jobless <clears throat> throughout the week, uh, it does look like that under a, a very strict conditions, uh, you will be able to secure yourself a, a job. And again, uh, nothing is left on chance. That job is not going to be just offered to you, okay? You gotta search it, you gotta toil for it. And there will be very strict conditions that you are to start working on, probably trial period period, and, and stipulations in the contract and uh, demands and so on and so forth. And it's entirely up to you to decide should you take it or not. But the tarot cards are strongly advising you that if you reach the point where you get the job that you want, you should truly involve yourself in it because as the card says, there is no going back from it. So it's highly unlikely that you are gonna be laid off or fired. And as the queen can push her, th her things through, that means that you can push yourself in the ladder of the hierarchy for as high as you can go. Uh, so that being said, uh, Libra, this was your uh, weekly tarot readings in terms of love uh, and career. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you like them, guys, and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.